Okay, good morning everyone. Um, I'm going to start my presentation. Modern people are slave to their phone and computer. Do you agree with this? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And as a you know, hopeless, addicted users like me, I got all sorts of pain. Head pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, uh, wrist pain, you name it, I have it. <sighs> So, any advice for me? Painkillers, no more phone or computers, or regular exercise? Exercise, painkiller. Pain pain <laughs> Did anyone say exercise? Yeah. Do you think that's a good idea? Yes. yes, exercise. Now, which one has a lower risk of injury? Swimming, yes, swimming. You know, swimming is good. Be it a freestyle or frog style, I get to exercise my shoulders. And the breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, release the pain on my neck. So everything is perfect with swimming, except for one little problem. How do I count laps while swimming? You know, you are underwater. And how do you know how many laps do you swim? So I Google for information. And I was amazed at those creative ideas offered by swimmers. But I was so frustrated because none of them work in my situation. So today I'm going to show you how I eventually came up with the easy solution and spare my money from this high tech digital device. You see, they are very expensive. Okay, method one, use the clock. You know, every swimming pool has a clock, but strangely, they are always placed at a side. So it means that I have to be the first swimmer to take the first land so I can watch the clock. But, you know, there is a strange guy who is always ahead of me. Even though we arrive at the swimming pool at the same time, and I am already has my swimming suit on, but you know it takes a guy only two seconds to put on the caps. For, for a female swimmer like me, you know we have to struggle with my hair, the silicone cap, and the goggles. So this gender inequality failed me in the first place. Method two: drain cover. These are the drain cover on the deck along the pool. Each cover has 10 lines like this. And um, when I start as a, as a beginner, I was very weak and very slow. So this is what I did. After one lap, I will stop and reach over the deck to get my bottle, drink some water, and then move my bottle one line backward. Okay, so um, this works very nice. However, after I become a better swimmer, I enjoy the rhythm of swimming. Kicks up, down, kicks up, down. If I have to stop myself to, in order to move the bottle, it breaks the rhythm. Method three, land dividers. Land, these are the land dividers. It's a long rope with many flows in it. And the flows are, uh, you can slide the flows. Slide the flows like the way you move the bits in an abacus. Okay, so this is what I did. When I begin swimming, I will set 10 flows like this. And when I finish a lap, I will move the flows, one flow backward, okay? and. This method works wonderful until that one day, you know, the guy, the strange guy in the other land accidentally moved my floors. Then all my counts fail. I lost all my counts. Method four, alphabet. You know, some people recommend this. While swimming, you think of one specific alphabet in your mind. You can start with A. And this is what I did. In my first lap, I will have something like clear, charm, and sweet. Clear, charm, and sweet. 
in a second lap. Eric, wild and bright, wild and bright, in a third lap. Felicia, smart and cool, smart and cool. Fourth lap, Jerry, music and happy, music and happy. Oh my God. 20 laps for 20 names, it drives me crazy. So, the alphabet is out. Then, one day, it just came to me, why don't I have something to put in, you know, I can tuck into my fingers and move out easily between my fingers. And guess what? It turns out to be very uh, easy to make such a device and to which I gave it a fancy name. Everyone, rain drop rubber rings with a pullers. Are you interested having a look? Yes. yes. Are you ready? Yes. You know, I have some music, but the music doesn't play today, okay? <laughs> so here it is, my smart solution. This perfect rubber rings work because if the size fits into my thumb, it will not stay on my pinky finger. This raindrop shape rubber ring stays nicely in each fingers and with the cooler, I can easily move it out and move it between the fingers. You see? So, 